Hello, spiritual learners and interns. This is Steve. I hope that everyone is doing really well. And we are, of course, in week number seven. And we are at the ending point of this course, whether you're in SNA 2290 or 495 this term. So it's crunch time, meaning we have a number of business related items, I guess I will refer to them as, that need to be submitted in order for you to earn your grade and credits for either SNHU 290 or 495. So I'm doing this quick video to give you some tips and guidance on how you can make sure that all of these items get submitted by the due date. And the reason being is I've been teaching uh, each of these courses for a while now, and sometimes I have to give a student an incomplete grade in either 290 or 495 because we're missing, say, their final evaluation or their timesheet hasn't been submitted by their supervisor. So just wanted to make sure that you have what I'm calling the final four on your radar. So that's going to be, as you see here, for this week, week number seven, we have the final project that is due on Sunday the 21st. Be sure that you are following the guidelines and expectations for the final reflection, whether you're doing a, a, a paper or a PowerPoint, be sure that you are addressing all of those critical elements, as they call them, in the guidelines for the final project. And then we also have the final evaluation that is due this Sunday, April 21st. So if your supervisor is not really available this week, I, I know there's one or two, two of you that your supervisor emailed me saying, hey, not going to really be in this week. That's fine. Give me, giving me a heads up about that. You can certainly still submit it next week, but you don't want these items hanging over your head. And I'll, I'll get in my dad mode right now and say that it is not my responsibility to make sure these get submitted. It is the students. <laughs> so please follow up with your supervisor. If you haven't earned your your grade your points for your final evaluation that means i haven't received it yet okay and same with the timesheet that's due the last day of the session on april 28th so if i don't receive your timesheet you, you you haven't earned points is a way that you know that i haven't received that by the way by the way these both have to be emailed to me directly from your supervisor. So they should not come from you. Uh, for integrity reasons, they have to come directly from your supervisor. I can't accept a final evaluation coming from the student, you know. Uh, so make sure that uh, you, were, you were copied on an email to your supervisor, probably, I think it might have been last weekend, something like that that uh, was introducing the final evaluation you have to sign off on the final evaluation so we do want to make sure though that that comes directly from your supervisor and then we do have a discussion uh, going forward discussion uh, for our week number eight just want to put a plug in for that because sometimes that can can throw us off a little bit because you just did your final project you know you have these business items but there is also a discussion and there's also a workplace contact log that you don't need to worry about. That's something that I submit. Um, I, I will upload that uh, into Brightspace so you don't have to worry about submitting that at all. So if you see something called a workplace contact log, that is something that I have to get submitted. So no worries about that. Uh, yeah, my, the grades are due on Tuesday, April 30th. So 
you know, I don't have a quick turnaround time with things. So again, I'm, I'm posting this, this message on Wednesday, April 17th. So roughly almost two weeks before grades are due. So I'm giving you a heads up and, you know, again, getting in dad mode a little bit that it's, it's not my responsibility to hunt these down. We want you to uh, be proactive as much as possible. You are welcome to, to email me if you, if you want to know if your supervisor submitted it. Uh, but again, the points will tell you that. So if you get your points for your final evaluation, you get your points for your timesheet. That means that I've received it. So, but as always in, in both 290 and 495, you can definitely reach out to me if you have any questions. So thank you so much for listening. I know it was a little bit long winded, but this is a really important, these are really important matters. And uh, trust me on this, you know, in the past, uh, students are not happy when I have to tell them they're getting an incomplete in the course. They can get their grade then, you know, they get an, a grade of I, but we don't want that to, we want to try to avoid incompletes as much as possible. So uh, definitely have all of these items on your radar and make sure that you, your supervisor has them on their radar as well. So your supervisor again was emailed both the final evaluation template and the timesheet. So if there are any questions about where do I find the timesheet, uh, they were emailed that and you were copied on it. So, uh, all right. Well, again, thank you so much for listening and please take care.